Game Maker How to do the awesome power up that lets you double fire. Uh, I'm going to use my test room here. This is a great one, right? Easy one to throw into your games that makes the player feel really special when they get that uh, mega firing effect taking place. And heck, if you can do it with double fire, you can do triple fire and quadruple fire too. So let's get this one going using our player. When he drinks the potion, we'll set him up for double fire. We can do all this inside the player object. So get on player. And in the create method, I'm going to give the player a variable that's going to help us keep track of whether they can double fire. I'll call it double fire, and I'll set it to zero to start, which means no double firing. When they eventually drink the potion, I'm going to change this to one, which indicates they can double fire. Let's go to drinking the potion. So player collides with potion. Let's get in here. Now, they just drank the potion. Let me destroy the potion. So instance destroy. And now let's give them the ability for the power up. Double fire equals one. So now I know that double firing is on. Now, how am I going to use this variable when it's one? This is all when they hit the space key to fire. We can ask questions now whether they should be double firing or not. So let's go to player, space bar being hit. Go in here. You'll see I have the code right now to fire one arrow. Let's change this up a bit for the double fire code. Now I'm going to do this in a bit of a beginner way because you're probably a beginner if you're watching this. But here's a nice way to do it. I'm going to say if double fire is zero, then just fire this one arrow. That's it. Okay? Makes sense. But I'll also ask. I can either put another if, or you know what, I could always put an else if. Else if double fire is one, I have to make two of these arrows. Well, let's do this. Keep it simple. Let's just copy paste. There's one. There's two. I'll put a little space bar there just so you know that's a two. And let's end that else if statement down here, right? So both those arrows are being made. Now the thing is they're both going the same speed, same direction. Okay, not good. And they're coming from the same XY position. So what I can do here, it's a nice little trick that actually works. Uh, you can decide how you want to do it in your games. But a simple one here just to prove this is working is I can take the direction and I can maybe just go minus three degrees and on this direction plus three degrees. So whatever player direction is, minus three degrees from it, that's going to be already the arrow's direction. Uh, some beginners ask, can I call this arrow or remember it with already and then do it again? Yeah, you can. I mean, once I make it, it's off and going, I'm done with it. You can use the word already again for the second arrow. You don't have to make up a new variable name here. Now, if this all works fine, I still get the sound playing afterwards. I should be firing double arrows. Let's give this a go. So there's my normal arrows. Uh-oh. Ignore that. Now I said ignore that. I actually had a little bit of code from a previous video tutorial in there. So I've got rid of that. Let's give it a go now. And you'll see here I got my arrows firing. I touched the potion, and now I got my little double fire going, right? Not bad. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, you may notice the arrows look straight, even though they're going an angle. I actually don't mind that look, but I guess what I should have done right here is you can actually add already dot direction. Already dot direction. And I guess I have to do it here too. Already dot direction. That way the image angle of that arrow is equal to that arrow's direction. You'll see that that fixes that little problem. I don't know whether or not you think that looks better or worse. Okay, you can see that little image angle there. Now the other problem here is this never ends. To make this end, uh, if you've watched any of my other power-up videos, you'll see that uh, Alarm is a nice, simple way in Game Maker to do this. 
let's make this actually end at some point. So when we turned on the power up when they drank the potion, you'll see here I turned double fire to one. I need to wait for this to come back down and go back to zero after a couple of seconds. Now you may or not want the power up to ever end, right? You may just say, hey, you earned it, you earned it. But a lot of games you want it to come back down. So this is the coming back down. I'm going to use alarms. If you don't know how to use an alarm, you should go watch one of our simple videos on alarms. They'll just give you the basics. But I'm going to set this alarm to last for three seconds. 30 steps a second. That's 90 steps in the future. This will just count down. When it eventually hits zero, you can probably guess the code I'm going to put in here. But when that alarm zero fires off, all I'm going to do is put double fire back to zero. And now the player, when they hit the space bar, will be back to this code. If double fire zero, do this. That's about it. That's your double fire code. Uh, you can probably run with that and invent some other power-ups, right, that use the same general idea. But uh, like most programming concepts, it involves making some variables, changing them at some point, and then checking them later on, right, and doing something with them. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Have fun with that one.